bad law. So you know, I'm outside of the New Hampshire Supreme Court building where oral arguments were just heard regarding jury nullification and the trial of Rich Paul, State v. Rich Paul. Some people are talking about the decision. I'm going to go listen in and eavesdrop on some conversations here. NHSC for New Hampshire Supreme Court. I'm interested in the fact that a couple of justices thought uh, the courts were only legislating what the legislature uh, had done. But as I understand it, uh, the, the judiciary is supposed to uh, judge the law in some way, shape, or form, and, and that's how the ju the judiciary acts upon the legislature, or, or basically criticizing the law and uh, saying whether it's valid or not, and whether it's valid in whole or in part. Yeah, how do you guys think? And, it and it, yeah, and it seems to me that this court is a little reluctant uh, to challenge the law. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it seems to me that the court was in the power uh, to uh, to at least demand modification of the law, uh, where the the court's power ends and the legislature's power begins. Uh, but what about the people's power? There was nothing about the basic check and balance of that. Well, well I'm, I'm I'm talking I'm talking about checks and balances here. But they never said anything about checks and balances. You can talk about it all you want. They never said a word about it. That's what bothers me. Exactly. Hmm. Well, very interesting discussion, and it's sure to continue for months to come. This is Derek J. Freeman, reporting for Derek J. Live at DerekJ.me.